Well, hey there again, Mana family, and welcome to day four. It is so good to be hanging out with you during this time of your devotions. Throughout this week, we have been looking at verses from Romans chapter 12, and today we are going to cover a lot of ground that has to do with spiritual gifts. Now, we aren't going to talk about each one of the gifts specifically. Instead, I wanna focus on how each of us is equipped with a set of gifts and how each one is important to the entire body of Christ and really useful for advancing God's kingdom. So let's jump into our verses for today. We will be looking at Romans chapter 12, verses four through eight. For as in one body, we have many members and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. You know, the idea here for this section of scripture is that everyone in the body of Christ has a part to play and a place on the team. While the section highlighting the one who leads says to do it with zeal, I think it is important to focus on executing any one of these spiritual gifts Paul lists with zeal, passion, and devotion. You know, on a lighter note, this makes me, <laughs> this reminds me of a joke I heard recently that, that really has everything to do with this section of scripture. And here it is. Why is a nose not 12 inches long? because it would be a foot. <laughs> anyway, in this first letter to the, in, in Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth, Paul puts this section of Romans and the joke I just offered into perspective. First Corinthians 12 is another portion of Paul's letters where he is covering the spiritual gifts. In this chapter, he also goes to great lengths to help his readers and really us today to understand that each person in the body of Christ is just as important as the others. In the absence of a particular spiritual gift or part of the body of Christ, there would be a void that needs to be filled in order to advance God's kingdom. I think this is so encouraging because there have been times in my life where I didn't feel like I was doing enough or, or that I wasn't contributing enough or even that my abilities, skills, or gifts were, were really just insignificant or insufficient to cause any real change. But what I'm hearing from our, per, our portion of Romans 12 and really also from 1 Corinthians 12 is that each portion of the body of Christ, as small or large as it might seem, has an extremely significant part to play. Just because what you are doing to glorify God in your life doesn't look like everyone else's around you, doesn't mean that God isn't using you to advance his kingdom. So maybe you are in a place where you, you can only give so much of your time to help others around you or maybe you only have so much in your finances to give, or maybe you think your skills or gifts are mediocre at best. I'm here to tell you that as long as you are living your life in a way that glorifies God, you have a purpose and a place in the body of Christ. Well, thanks for hanging out again with me today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.